You don't realize how much sugar affects you until it's <laughs> affecting you. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Kat and Deb from Two Market Girls, and today we have another vegan recipe for you. We took something that's not vegan, and we made it vegan. We veganized it. Guess what it is? It's got a lot of sugar in it. <laughs> <laughs> Pop-Tarts! Yes. We made vegan Pop-Tarts. Every kid's dream. Every vegan's dream. They're easy to make. As usual. We did a strawberry filling, mm -hmm. and a pink raspberry icing. Yeah, we didn't make the filling because we're about making things easy here, but you're more than welcome to just make a jam recipe mm -hmm. and use it as a filling. We did make the pastry yes. though, so... I we're mean, not about we did being something. that easy. Yeah, come on, we did something. <laughs> we just didn't make the jam. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's show you how we did it. To a food processor, add two cups of flour, two tablespoons of coconut sugar, and half a cup of cubed vegan butter and process until all mixed together. It should look like wet sand. Weird, but go with it. Next, add half a cup of ice water a little bit at a time and process after each addition. Stop adding water as soon as the dough comes together into a ball. You'll probably have some water left over. Flour a clean surface and a rolling pin and roll out your dough into a rectangle about an eighth of an inch thick. With a sharp knife, cut an even amount of rectangles the size you want your Pop-Tarts to be. We ended up getting a total of 18 rectangles to make 9 Pop-Tarts. Place half of your rectangles on a lined baking sheet and place about 1 tablespoon of your favorite strawberry jam in the center. Spread it out, but make sure to leave at least one centimeter of space from each edge. Brush the edges with water and place a rectangle of dough on top and press to seal. Press down with a fork for a decorated edge and to ensure they are sealed properly. With a sharp knife, make three slits through the top of each Pop-Tart. This is to ensure they do not explode while they are baking. Bake in an oven preheated to 400 degrees for 15 to 20 minutes or until golden brown. While they're baking, you can make your icing. In a high-speed blender, blend a quarter cup of frozen berries with one tablespoon of water until they are broken and mashed a bit. Then transfer them to a small bowl and mash again. The goal is to get as much red water out as possible. This is going to be your natural food dye. Using a sieve, press your raspberry mash through to get all the liquid out. In a small bowl, add one and a half cups of icing sugar and your raspberry water one tablespoon at a time. Mix with a whisk until you get your desired consistency. We used about three tablespoons of raspberry water total to get the color and consistency that we wanted. Allow your Pop-Tarts to cool slightly and while still a little bit warm, add about one tablespoon of icing to each Pop-Tart and top with sprinkles. Okay, now it's time for our favorite part of every video, where we get to eat the food we make. I don't know if I want to. <laughs> Too much sugar. Okay. Look how cute they are, though. Uh, just so you guys know, Devin individually picked out the green sprinkles from a bag of red and green sprinkles. We're on a pretty tight budget here, so we couldn't go get new sprinkles. We had to reuse our Christmas sprinkles. <laughs> so what are you going to do, right? I don't feel crazy at all. Okay, let's try these. Yeah. Oh my god. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. It tastes like a Pop-Tart. But like homemade Pop-Tart. Mm -hmm. It doesn't taste like a store-bought one because those ones are like 
instant food, whereas mm-hmm. this is like homemade and fresh baked. Yeah. So it's a, it's better, and I really like the icing. Mm-hmm. Um, you can put any kind of jam in here. Mm-hmm. I did try it with a wild berry one. I wasn't a fan of it, but you know, if you like that kind of stuff, go for it. <laughs> Get my sugar. I shouldn't. I shouldn't be allowed too much sugar. For the record, it's not because of the sugar in the pop tarts. She had a lot of chocolate milk. <laughs> yeah, we were doing a thing for Instagram stories that you'll see. <laughs> and uh. I had like two cups of chocolate milk plus some regular milk in like ten minutes. Vegan, of course. Yeah. But <laughs> in like ten minutes. Plus taste testing and things like that. There's just been a lot of sugar today. It's all hitting her right now, (laughs) so we're just going to have to sign off. And I'm kind of sleepy from food we had earlier. (laughs) Uh, So thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button because we post new vegan recipes every Sunday and whatever Wednesdays, every other Wednesday. You were talking really fast. I just need to get you out of here, so. I just need to come back. What's up, guys? It's Kat and Deb from Two Market Girls. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I was choking me so hard I'm not laughing. If you look back at that one, I'm almost staring like straight below the camera, trying to focus. And chocolate milk has a lot of sugar in it. <laughs> What's up, guys? It's no, Kat- start that again. I look horrible.